Today, I'm going to talk about moving on. Because in a way, you're all coming to the end of something and are going to be moving on. Particularly your six children, you're coming to the end of your time in primary school, looking forward to moving on to a secondary school. And everyone else, you're in one class, one year, and you're going to be starting a new year in September, possibly with a new teacher. So that is going to be a change. Now, I've got my tug of war rope here with me. And I wanted to ask you, is that the start of the rope? Or is it the end of the rope? It could be both, couldn't it? It could be the start and it could be the end. And that's like you. It's both you're coming to the end of your time at primary school and starting a secondary school. Or the end of it, one year and moving into another year. And this rope, this tug of war rope, reminds me of what it's like inside for us when we're coming to a big change. There's a tug of war going on. Sometimes we feel happy and excited, sometimes sad, nervous, anxious, worried. And all those things are normal when we're starting something new. And we've all started new things in our lives. At some point in the past, you've started a playgroup. You started a preschool. You started your primary school. Many of you have started new clubs. You might have started brownies or guides or beavers. You might have started and joined a football club or a gym club or a swimming club. You've all learnt to swim or are learning to swim. Throughout our lives, we always have new things to learn, new things to start. Now, do you remember the story of Moses and the Israelites in the Old Testament? Israel had been slaves in Egypt for 400 years, 400 years. And then God called Moses to lead them out of Egypt and take them to a new promised land that God said he was giving them. And so Moses led them out of, of Egypt and they crossed the Red Sea and went into a desert, which is a few days walk from where this land was going to be. But the Israelite people disobeyed God and did many bad things and they ended up wandering around in the desert for 40 years. Might be a question on that. 40 years in the desert. And just before Moses was going to lead them in to the new land, he died. And so his assistant Joshua became the leader. Now, that was a big change for Joshua from being assistant to the leader. Now, Joshua's first job was to lead the Israelite people across the River Jordan. Might be a question on that. The River Jordan. So firstly, Joshua and the people made plans to cross it. Now, year six, children, you've been making plans over the last year or two to go to secondary school, haven't you? You've made choices about which school you would like to go to. You filled in forms or your parents have and applied so that you could go to that school. Now, going back to the Israelites, before they crossed the River Jordan, they spent three days on the bank, the desert side of it, making plans, getting ready, getting ready to cross. Now, over the first past few weeks, your six children, you've been making plans to go to your secondary school. You spent transition days at your new school. You've met new, your new some of your new teachers and some of your new friends that you'll spend time with next year. You've started to discover what the new school day will look like. You might have already begun to buy your uniform, new school bag perhaps, or some new equipment. Or you're going to be doing that over the summer holidays. After planning, it was time for Joshua to lead the people across the river. Joshua said that the river would stop flowing when the priests got into the river carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark of the Covenant wasn't Noah's Ark, that massive boat. It was a great big box which stored precious things in. 
And one of these precious things was the Ten Commandments. Now, year six, children, you are very precious to this school. Because we've seen you grow up from reception through the years and you become the children you are today. And as you leave, you'll continue to grow and develop and you will need to make your own choices and decisions. And we trust you to make good choices and good decisions in your new school. And that's true. Everyone else, we trust you to make new good choices and good decisions when you go into your next year at primary school. So the priest got into the river with the Ark of the Covenant and the river stopped flowing. So the riverbed was dry. And one person from each of the 12 tribes of Israel got into the river and from the riverbed, they picked up a stone. And they did this because they were going to keep these stones. And that was going to be a reminder, a memory of how God led them through the Jordan River and out of Egypt. Now, as you leave year six, you will take precious memories with you from your primary school times. You might remember funny incidents in your classrooms. You might remember plays that you've been in. You might remember residentials or day trips. You might remember me coming in to do your assemblies. It's important to hold on to your precious memories because they become your memory stones for the future. And so as the Israelites got ready to follow the priests into the water, some of them were nervous, excited, worried, fearful, anxious, happy, all different feelings. It's like some of you have different feelings about moving on. Now, crossing the Jordan River can be a metaphor for us, when we take our first steps into a new situation towards something new, a metaphor is something like a picture of, of what we're going to be doing. So whether it's starting a new secondary school, starting a new class at primary school, learning a new language, going on holiday, meeting a new friend, starting a new club, wearing a new school uniform, they're all new things. The list goes on and on. But we will never achieve what we want to achieve unless we take those first steps. Joshua became the leader after Moses of the Israelites. He led the Israelites into something new. It was a really big thing to do, but he was a leader who trusted God. And although it was a big job, a big change, he wasn't scared or afraid because he knew that God was with him. And as year six, you leave school, it's a first step towards your new school. You might have all those different emotions. But as in the story of Joshua, I believe that God will be with you and will help you. And actually, the Bible says that God will be with us wherever we go. Before we have our quiz, I'm going to say a short prayer. And if you like the prayer and you want to make it your prayer, you can say amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for the year six children. Please be with them as they leave this school and move on. Please help them to keep hold of all their precious memories and friendships. Please help them to make new friends and settle into their new school quickly. Please be with them in difficult and amazing times, all these different things. Please help help us all, all of us, to be confident when we take new first steps towards something new. Please be close to all of us when we return to school and as we start New Year's in September. Please help us to cope with changes. Help us to help others in those changes if we can. Please keep us safe. Amen. OK, here's the quiz. Um, we have seven questions. I might be able to think of another one as we go, but we'll see. Question one. How many years was Israel slaves in Egypt? It's quite a difficult one. 
Number two, how many years did Israel wander around in the desert? Three, who replaced Moses as leader of Israel? Number four, what was the name of the river that they crossed? Again, quite hard, begins with a J. Number five, what did the Ark of the Covenant contain? What special things? Number six, what did one person from each tribe take out of the riverbed as a memory stone? Oops, I've given it away there. That's OK. You've got a free one. What did they take out of the river? Number seven. Why wasn't Joshua scared when he had become the leader and had to lead Israel into something new? OK, here are the answers. Number one, 400 years of slaves. Number two, 40 years, four zero in the desert. Number three, Joshua replaced Moses. Number four, the Jordan River. Number five, what was in the Ark of the Covenant? Ten Commandments. What did the 12 people take from the riverbed? I gave you that one, didn't I really? Hopefully you got that right. Stones, a stone each. And finally, why wasn't Joshua scared when he became the leader and had a big job to do? Why wasn't he scared? Because he believed that God was with him. OK, I hope you've enjoyed that assembly and may God bless you all as you come to the end of your year at this school and you begin the new year in either a new class at primary school or a new secondary school. Bye. Bye.